this hearing to order. You don't have to. Yes, I do. You saved my life. I need evidence you didn't do it. Outside you built gallows, and none of you have asked me if I'm guilty or innocent. Will none of you stand for me? Hey, Justin, how you doing today? Good, man. How you doing? Pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm really appreciate you for, for being, being able to do this interview with, uh, with us today or with, with me. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, got the opportunity to talk to, you know, of course, your, your previous castmates. And I was wondering when I was going to get down to the line of you. Um, Here, I got we, so are. Many Here we are. I got so many questions for you, obviously. Um, one of them just in, in particular um, is about the episode. Uh, you, you guys set this up, man, and, and, and I, I really thought this was like, man, they, they really going to take off my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I got people sweating back home, man. Like, my sister's like, you got to tell me, you got to tell me what happens. And I'm like, no, I, just wait, just wait. Yeah, guess I'll collect my last check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming home early. Shit. <laughs> uh, I guess like what was what was your, your your mindset kind of going into this? Like, you know, the, the whole setup and we're going through the trial of your, your potential attempt at, you know, your murder, you know, you 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 murdering the, the, the founder of the town. What was in your mindset kind of going through uh, as you were playing through this? You know, I love the way they set that up, man. Um, yeah. I'm already such an outsider. Callahan's already, you know, having struggles coming into town. So uh, it was kind of a, a really big way for them to, to kind of turn a mirror on the town to let them see, you know, uh, see themselves, the way Callian sees it, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, after he's on the stand there and he, he kind of reveals his story and, and, you know, how much he's, he's kind of given to the town and how heartbreaking it is that they can't see him as a human still, you know, they've already decided what his fate was and um, be, before even hearing his words. And, and I thought that was so powerful, man. It, it was, it was beautiful. And, and uh, I thought it really showed the humanity of Callian as well as, you know, the town because, it, you know, it, it's a realistic time in history. It's realistic for that time in history because the way settlers viewed names uh, wasn't pleasant. You know, it, it wasn't pretty. And one of my favorite things about this episode is uh, toward the end when Augustus, you know, is saying goodbye to Callian, he, he, he's questioning what he's doing there as well. Because as a black man, he's like, these people would judge me just as quickly you know what i mean so i i thought that was really powerful uh because these two characters have have come a long way they have a lot of shared history and uh they both kind of sit in this world you know they're outsiders to this world in a way and um as as, as comfortable as they might get at times in town uh i don't think they ever forget that they're that they're not white you know so i think it's uh i think it's a great way it was a great it was great storytelling man yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I'm glad you brought that up, too, because the, the show from the beginning lets you know, like this, you guys have a super diverse cast. Yeah. And, you know, you, you know, it's some stuff that you normally wouldn't see in an old Western or you know, Asian, Black, you know, yeah. you know, you know, uh, you know, Apache, anything like that. Like you wouldn't see anything, anything like that back then. And to have an episode like this where it's like, oh, yeah, we we, we haven't none of that is, is forgot about like it's racism still exists. Yeah. You know, all this like. You know, even in a town with a black, you know, uh, sheriff deputy. or a co-sheriff, yeah. whatever, a deputy, it's, it's still a thing, you know, that like you said, like that you still have to deal with and you being the outsider and them, be them being on land that, you know, the, the people have founded, you know, yeah. you think you would still have some some stake here. Um, but you guys do a really great job of, you know, including the diversity of everybody. Everybody gets gets a shine here in the show. Yeah. Um, question that, that, that maybe I missed it. Um the the daughter that's shown in the episode here um i'm, I'm just assuming uh that that that's his daughter um that's passed that he's he's still seeing uh i feel like i, I kind of miss like as it get kind of kind of gets closer and closer like what that what that represents i'm i'm kind of guess i could ask you what what that meant yeah in the show. yeah no absolutely so in episode three uh this this little girl kind of pops up uh well Callie is is kind of stalking Hoyt in this town he's up he's overlooking this this town and he's on the ridge and, and this little girl's like hey you're gonna sh shoot this guy and, and Callian's like I'm not sure um and then in episode six we see that same little girl kind of running through the through the field so so what she is is she's actually just a vision of Callian's um and she's actually his little sister from when they were kids and she wow. was she was taken she was taken when when she was eight years old uh uh these white men 
these white settlers, they came in and they raided the camp and they stole her. And um, that's actually why Callian became a tracker. That's why he, he does what he does. And um, I thought that was a really great opportunity to kind of show why Callian became the man he is that we see in, you know, in the pilot and through episode six um, kind of reveals just a lot about his backstory and, and his history. And um, the other beautiful thing about this storyline is that native women uh, across this country, they're, they're more at risk than other ethnicities to go missing. Um, about 10 times higher than, than any other ethnicity. And there's a, there's a big, you know, epidemic of missing and murdered indigenous women. So this kind of a uh, shed some light on that without really kind of forcing it down anyone's throat. Right. It kind of just, it just shows a little bit of what colonialism has done to native communities and native people and native tribes uh, and nations. So um, I thought that was, a is really nice that we didn't shy away from, from some of these harder conversations in the show. And, and, you know, it's not going to click with everybody, but if you, if you look between the lines, you'll see it, you know what I mean? So that's, that's the story there with the, with the little girl, that's his little sister. Okay. Shout, shout out to them writers, man, for, for, for giving the character <laughs> some, 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 some ample development, man. I love that, man. I thought, I Cause at first, when you first watched it, I'm thinking like, he, he's just going to be the tracker that pops in and everything. I was like, thank you for, <laughs> for giving this guy something to do every episode. <laughs> yeah, man. That was my fear coming in as well, you know? And, and it was, it was great that we've been able to kind of, the, the writers have been great. You know, if I ever come with any, with any, uh, you know, suggestions that they always hear me out and uh we're always trying to we're trying to always push that a little further and make sure that we're we're showing a dynamic co uh, complex character you know yeah um so uh, apparently the uh the, the little girl was also played uh by somebody pretty close to you <laughs> yeah 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 she's uh so that's my daughter who's playing oh, wow Can playing her. start them off early <laughs> no nah, man I, honestly i was nervous about it because i, I People have always been like, hey, your kids are cute. You should get them into movies. And I'm always like, nah, that's, I don't know about <laughs> that. Uh, but like I said before, like this is, a, or I've said in the past, like this was the the safest environment for that really. It, it, like it's like a family over here, the production and the cast right. and the crew. Everybody knows my kids and my wife. And and uh, if there was any any time to do it, this was probably the best time, you know? She auditioned for it. We had her do a little tape and she was so cute. She did her thing. Um, but yeah, I don't it was a lot safer than having her like go to auditions and get her heart broken. Cause right. it, it could be an intense world. It's intense for me as an adult, man. I can't imagine being a kid going through that world. It's uh, it's yeah, tough. The competition's real out here. <laughs> yep, absolutely. But, it, but I mean, it's, it's, it's also cool that it wasn't just, Oh my, that's my dad. So I got the role type thing. You know what I yeah. mean? So but no, she, she actually, did the whole you know, thing. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's pretty <laughs> cool. And I'm, it's, it's also glad to have your, your, your daughter as a part of something that you, that you did growing up. So you both can watch it, you know, later yeah. down the line. And like uh, I said, I, it, for a show that I felt like kind of started off like kind of comedic a little bit, it was serious, but you guys have like your, your, your moments of levity where you have comedy, but this was like an intense episode. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, all right, I don't know if I want to finish this. <laughs> you know, if, you take, if you take them off, I'm done. I'm not watching this no more. <laughs> Cause it's, yeah. it's not, it's not, it's not too many people. Of, I'm not gonna say it's like a lot of people color on the show, but of course, you know, the deputy yourself and yeah. you know, the, um, the I can't think of the, the can't Kai. Think of name. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like once once that's gone I'm like all right it's just I guess we just well that that's the thing that's great about it man it's like it, people want to see these characters on the screen you know right and and um and but it, it's good that they're not afraid to to go heavy with with these characters as well you know because I think I think maybe some people might want to play it safe and and not risk people being like, oh, why are they going to treat that character like that? Why are you going to treat the native character like that? Why are you going to treat the black character like that? Like, right. like we want to still be treated like, you want the characters to still feel human and, and not not shy away from, you know, heavy or, 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 or some of like, you know, darker, darker content with them. You know, it's, it's, it's great though, you know, that there's no way they're going to kill us off. <laughs> oh yeah. What's what's something that you that you want to see next for Kelly? Like what's what's something that you kind of want to get into now that we've kind of moved past whatever's going on here? I love this question, man. Um honestly for Kelly and he he's so noble. We've seen that from the beginning, you know. He he's always kind of doing the right thing, um helping everybody out in the right way. He kind of makes smart choices and and seems to have a really good head on his shoulders. Um I kind of want to see the other side of him. I kind of want to see the dangerous side or, or, or the side that, you know, 
might make some mistakes, you know, cause that's what, that's what we do as humans. You know, I, right. I want him to develop in a way I want to, I want to see some, some complexity in him where, where maybe he's making a, the bad choice, but for the right reason, you know, um, just, just to see how dynamic, you know, he could be and, and how much of the real true human experience he could, he could show on screen. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, I mean, maybe, maybe like I said, um, like I said, for the most part, like I said, as they talk about this, like, you know, your character's not a, not a killer. Like, you know, everybody, you know, can already knows, you know, the, the type of person that you are, but they just looking, you know, they're looking for blood in the episode. And to maybe, you know, as we get into like future episodes, we see, uh, you know, a little bit more. I, I want to say like him going around to shoot arrows at people. But <laughs> just, just no, I'm with you. I'm with you, man. <laughs> especially especially this time in history, man. Like, uh, it, it it would be very hard to to stay calm and cool, collected all the time. Right. You know, your your land's getting taken away. Uh, you have you have racism. You know, just you're targeted. You know, so for him to always have it together wouldn't feel completely true. So I would like to see him kind of lose a little bit of control in a way, and 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 see what draws him back in. You know, that's what's going to be really interesting. Right. Uh, like like you said, that conversation you had with the with the deputy, like how how much more of of, of these particular incidents do your characters have left in them? Like how long before you know sense, one, yeah. it, it happens again? You know, the wrong 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 place, wrong time situation. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. Hopefully, it doesn't. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, are, are you guys uh, pretty much wrapped up on 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 this season, or did you? No, nah, we're we're almost there, man. We're we're coming down the last couple of weeks here. Um, we'll be finishing up and, and yeah, then we get to sit back and see, you know, see if people want to see more of us and hopefully come back right. for season two. Yeah. I'm always, always curious. I'm like, I'm like, are they done? Or is, are we still filming like mid season? Cause I know you, I know you guys take breaks and yeah. then, you know, you go in and you start, you do more filming and stuff like that. But for the, I always thought like it's already, already done and it's all post-production at that point. And no, we're going each week, man. New episode every week. Oh, okay. Every seven days, man, we're shooting a new one. So it's, it's TV's fast. It moves fast. Someone asked earlier, like, how comfortable are you and your character? And like, you got to be comfortable because you're, you're constantly getting a new, a new script, you know, and, and you're, you're showing up to set and you're filming a new episode every week. And, right. and it's, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. That we're still filming as they're coming out. It's, it's cool. A lot of people don't realize that. So. Yes, me. <laughs> um, and like and, and like you said, uh, you got you know you feel like a family on set. You know it doesn't it doesn't feel like you know just just your coworkers type thing. Like and we're just doing the job, so it, it's cool that that you that you're in that you know cool environment where you can kind of be yourself and you know everybody you know hey you know everybody's oh, happy to be at work. You know it's not a toxic yeah. environment. <laughs> No, man, it's it's wonderful. We we all get along so well and have so much fun on set. It's like it's we're um, gonna miss it for sure. Uh, are we are we getting into um touching more into the I, I know it's like a hundred or something year difference like the main walker show um kind of like placing like maybe uh some of your family into like the main show and like getting into that like some type of crossover where you kind of just play yourself in the future type of, like, like we've seen that already yeah man we, we've talked about that that could be really interesting um I, I know there's been some talk about trying to do some crossover stuff but yeah, yeah we're we're I think what people want to know is like, where, who is this legacy? Like, like who, who is going to like, which people are making the future walkers, you know? And right. so that's, that's something that's going to be really fun to play with as we keep going forward. Cause, cause I don't know yet. They don't let us know everything. You know, I don't know until I get a script what's happening. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and I guess my, my, my last question here is, um, What's kind of like your expectation um, of the of the series going forward? Like, where do where do you see this? Because like it's it started off with like, okay, we're we're gonna figure out if the uh, if the sheriff did did it or not, and it's kind of evolved past because I was like, okay, you know, they should be able to wrap this up within like three episodes. But where do you where do you expect the the future of the show to go? You know, uh, in terms of the first season, because we're we're getting finished up, I kind of know where that goes. Um, but it's going to, it's going to be wrapped up nicely, man. Uh, okay. I think you're going to learn a lot about people. Um, I think stories aren't ever as clear cut as you think. And, and that's what makes, you know, makes the, these, these shows interesting to watch is because the characters are dynamic. So it's like, you can't predict, hopefully you can't predict what a character is going to do or how they're going to react. Right. And, and so, uh, that's what we'll be seeing towards the end is like how it all kind of comes together uh moving forward you know uh i have ideas where i would like to see certain things go unfortunately i can't 
can't share too much because then it would right, right, no, no reveal man. things about the pe- <laughs> like what things we haven't seen yet. But um, yeah, man, as long as we, we're staying dynamic, as long as characters keep developing and, and changing and, and and affecting each other, you know, um, we as long as we're not all staying in one place, I think it's it's going to be a lot of fun to keep doing this for a while. Well, that's, that's what I need to hear. Justin, I appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. Do this once. Do this interview for us. <laughs> I appreciate it. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. And uh, cannot wait to see how this ends. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. See you. <laughs>